Man, you internet generation, I'm not gonna pull any punches here. You fuckers sicken me. Not the girls. Girls are raised fruity anyway. There's no reason the internet should change anything. But you dudes, Jesus Christ. I know you're too young to know who John Wayne is, and you seem to think Chuck Norris is some kind of fucking joke, but that still doesn't explain how you turned into such a bunch of bollock and bedwetters. If you're at all interested in a taste of what we grown-ups call dignity, just do this one thing. Stop using smileys when you're right. You assholes can barely go an entire sentence without throwing a little wink face on the end, or a little sad face when someone steps on your tender feelings. Do you know what the primary purpose of those faces is? It's to take the edge off of everything you say. They're a preemptive apology. Because you don't want someone to get offended while you're romping gaily across the internet, right? So you just stick your tongue out and we all know, oh, you're just playing. You don't really mean it. Well, listen, I know you've been spending your whole life cutting yourselves down into such lame little fucks that no one could possibly be disappointed by your future failures. But you are a Keith and the girl fan, goddammit. Show some balls. You need to go cause some misunderstandings. You need to make some enemies. It's okay to get hurt. It doesn't matter how many times you go down as long as you get up again. Unless you're sucking cocks, in which case going down once is enough to make you gay. And for many of you, I realize it may already be too late. But there's still hope for the rest because you can look to the other contingent of male Keith and the Girl fans. The ones who are drunk while on the internet. You'll be on the chat and one of them will say, Ugh. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Try being more like them. Because those guys are doing all right. <laughs> you should invent a fucking virtual razor so you can kill your useless fucking self. Stop playing your fucking stupid game and get a real life. Get a job. Get a fucking real friends. Get a real girlfriend. <laughs> fucking stop jerking off to your fucking computer screen. Fucking die. Good point. Whatever. Good point. <laughs> fucking kill yourself. Get a fucking life. This is a fucking internet radio show, and this is as far as you should fucking go with Oh, it. wait, before I forget. <laughs> That's it. We are real people talking shit, at least you fucking real people. God damn it. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> the farthest I went, I played fucking... I was ashamed of myself that played fucking <laughs> Unreal Tournament and, like, fucking killed people online and talked shit to them, and I was fucking ashamed. <laughs> fucking kill yourself. I, uh, yeah, yeah me, and, me and Adam living together, and it's not, even, it's not even that long ago in the scheme of things, but we're trying to download, dial up the Matrix. Dial up, download a movie. <laughs> I thought that was the coolest thing ever, right, to right, have right. the Matrix on my computer, and it took me four days to get <laughs> half of it. <laughs> half. And I kept getting cut off, and I had to start over. And then, uh, then eventually I realized, I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> Let me get off of this fucking shit box. Like, the, the fucking TV is a shit box. The fucking computer is a diarrhea <laughs> fucking truckload. You lose. <laughs> Com.